What's up, YouTube family? Uh, I just... I'm using a dark screen background. Yes, it's a black screen video. But, as you know, I went outside earlier and... I was... Originally, I just was going to feed the cats and watch the meat, make sure nothing else got it. But then, as that happened, and I brought a few things in because we were out late in town. We had several things to get, and then we had took Daddy to work. We back to work. We wound up having several things to do. This week will be another booked week. But we, uh, I was outside, and I fed the cats. I walked over the porch, and all of a sudden, there was that loud... It was a dog-like sound, but not exactly like a dog. It was in the hill, and then it was all of a sudden in the yard, then next to the porch, and then, for some some reason, I mimicked it, I don't know, I just kind of instinctually just hollered back, and then suddenly it was to the left, right next to the vehicles, and then right next to the yard, and I need to go back out there late in a little while and record, uh, it, whatever it was, when I went back out earlier this morning, it left uh, two sticks in the shape of a cross next to the truck. I didn't get a negative feel from whatever it was, but it, it sounded dog-like, but I still didn't get a negative feel. But there was two sticks in the shape of a cross. And the one stick even had a notch in it, uh, a raised-up notch, where it could be perfectly made into the shape of a cross. So that's something else. And we were in town earlier tonight, and as I've said before, this activity does seem to follow me around. No matter where I go... Like when I was up Nana several nights ago, we visited her for New Year's Day, and I was outside, we were there late, and it was about 9.30, I guess, and I was outside, and then there was a loud, I heard a loud howl. No one else seemed to hear it in the house at that time. Sometimes they do. Nana never really seems to hear as often as someone like myself does. She's not as connected to those things, she doesn't. And sadly, not as aware of what's really going on in this world, but I'm not getting into all that. Like a lot of people are not, they just follow what the news tells them, and that's not the facts. But, definitely not getting into all that for this video. So, I heard loud howls. I heard a, It sounded like a woman screaming sound, but yet a lot louder, as common Bigfoot slash Sasquatch sounds are. And I heard that. I got up, I brought the tablet outside started to record and hopefully picked something up there were the dog had a fit and there were some branch breaking sounds outside that I hopefully captured daddy heard him when I showed it to him so I'm sure everyone else will be able to hear it as well once I try to screen record it on the tablet the only way thing I can upload the audio recordings to a SoundCloud and that's not where I want to put them so when I sat out the see up Nana's, we get signal. I get signal. I'm the only one that does out of the entire family, pretty much. I get signal in one spot with AT and T. So I use that phone, turn on it as a mobile hotspot, and then use the tablet to use internet connection and make calls and things. And so I had the tablet out there and I pressed record. And I was going to try to upload, but it wasn't really fast enough for that. So I'll have to upload it another time. But I was out there recording on New Year's. Things follow me around. I can sometimes just focus, and I'll hear all kinds of things right around me. Noises and, and beings and see things. And, and it's not just myself. Here's how I know what's happening. The animals. The animals, thank goodness the animals are also a good way of knowing that you're not alone. You're not the only one experiencing this. And it's not just as many try to, like, psychiatrists and psychologists would try to say do you see and hear things it's all in your head no it's not all in your mind when the animals confirm it you know you're not alone and especially when other people other people seem to experience things but they say it's only when I, I'm around I have a cousin that's like that too and I've said since she was a child I said she has an ability a gift and ability and it things seem to happen to other people most of the time when I'm around or when I'm on the phone with them. But, back to this topic. Last night I heard a loud scream near the McDonald's, but we were there and there was this, and there's a wooded area, and there's this building that's now out of business, and then I, we heard Mama and I, I just breathed. All I did was, I first, right after I went <sighs> like that, something went 
and it sounded like a woman being murdered. And Mama said that was creepy, gave you chills. It gave you chills, and I didn't know, I don't know, but that's what happened right as I did that. And then, see, later when I got home, there was this dog thing sound that was all around the yard. It would appear, disappear. It would be in one spot, then another, then another, then another, too quickly to be a, an animal. Within, you, you couldn't go around from the hill, the yard, to the porch, to the side of the house, to the within just a 30-second period like that and make those kinds of sounds. And then at about 5.30 this morning when I went out to feed and water the dogs, they were, wag they were just like, they were like, uh, they have some warm hay, warm straw in their dog houses, so they're happy for that. They're, they've had that for several weeks now because it's been cold, and uh, they were sitting in there, but they jumped out there when that sound happened, like, what the heck was that? It went like a, it was like a loud... It went like, uh, like that. That's what it did. Like a trumpet type sound right next to me. Then as I get back in the house, and the dogs heard it, and the cats were walking by me. They follow me everywhere. The animals do. The animals love to follow me around. I always have. I love that when the cats follow me around and, and animals watch it's company. Sometimes, unless you want to be alone or meditate or something, you're like, Okay, please stop startling me, by the way. But still, I still love the company of the animals. One thing's for certain. One thing's for sure. I'm never alone. <laughs> when it comes to animals or birds trying to... When I was watching deer on the hill, I recorded a few deer. and I raised that camera up, the phone up, and the deer on the hill, like way far away, looked right at me. And that they knew. And here's the thing. Even a cow in the distance... Animals also understand me. I can. My parents have seen it. I can talk to them, say things to them, and they talk to me, you know, just, meow, 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 you know, they just like, they understand me. And I'll say, uh, I'll say, so you're the one that was at that window, though, going to the window, and they'll look at the window. And how they understand the exact words, I can't even convey it. I don't know. But my parents have seen it, so they know it's real. Uh, my pa was that way. He could talk to them. And I have this connection with nature, trees, nature, plants, animals. I mean, it's it's interesting. But, yeah, the dogs and the cats, they were out there and they were like, really? Those kittens are starting to realize things happen around me. They were like, this didn't happen until you went out here. They just froze when that weird sound happened. But the uh, I talked to that one cat about something, and I'll even tell them to, you know, I'll, I had a full-on conversation telling them to get along, and then they got along afterwards, tried to get along outside, the outside cats. Two of them, Maui and Rosie, love to... Maui stays in the house. Rosie loves to come in the house and stay in here, especially when it's cold, and she'll stay in here for long periods of time and then want to go back out. The other cats, they will not stay in the house at all. They, I mean, for a few minutes, they'll be fine, and they get claustrophobic and like, I went back out. They're ready to go back out, but they're still so playful and loving. So fuzzy and but or so soft and silky, silky fur. Their mother's all fuzzy and pretty, long hair. But the uh, sounds. I went up Nana's, heard sounds outside, and everywhere I go. Used to I could hear in the store and everywhere else, but that's when stores were open later. Especially the 3 a.m. hour. But then, I've had some very interesting encounters. Interdimensional, spiritual, weird-looking alien-like things, angelic, demonic spirits, or demonic and spirits, and then uh, things like that. But the sounds we heard, uh, the thing we heard tonight, that scream, and then I get home, and then uh, the, the sounds happen and the, again, and then um, earlier I heard praise music singing. I used to hear heavy metal rock music in my ears when I was little, like four, five, six years old. I'd hear music I couldn't explain. It was just like guitar music. At one time, I even heard the smashing of a guitar, and the cat raised up, and the cat we had back then raised up. He was connected spiritually as well. He would raise up, and he was like, and spirits would connect through him to me. And he saw it, heard it, and he was like, oh, man. <laughs> it was like a guitar went, and then... 
just start hitting the ground, hitting the floor really hard in the bedroom. That was when I was, that was when I was about 13, I'd say. Around that age, 12 or 13. But then I heard praise music last night. Actually earlier, about, about 5, 5, 15 a.m., I heard praise music like it was going Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Oh, that's what it was singing. It was singing Hallelujah, and I was thinking it was like a choir. And I was like, "Am I hearing angelic music?" I was like, "Like hearing angelic music, the realm uh, coming through from the from the realm, <laughs> the angelic realm." But anyway, that was something else as well. I experienced a lot. It seems to be ramping back up again. Sorry for the for it being a black screen video. I normally like to do screen recordings because I don't feel comfortable showing my face. But I there's been a lot of number synchronicities as well. Repeating fours, eleven, eleven, all of that stuff, and strange things happening regarding number anomalies and things peace signing out links are below subscribe and like and share and all that good stuff and if you don't at least you got to view the video i appreciate it i appreciate all the love signing out